is that daddy went to work, for instance, and never came, and back. Never came back. So as much as she doesn't show it openly all the time, underlying, it's even Zama, I suppose it's Zama or you. Somebody said that even when Bongani wanted to leave, Mm. She is even with him. Yeah, she wants to know when you're gonna come yeah, back. Yeah, what time? Mm -hmm. How long? Mm -hmm. And when we left to go hiking, mm. she asked me, "How many hours are you gonna be?" Mm. You know. So she does have that fear of it's almost a separation. It's not overwhelming, but it's definitely a different thing. I wasn't always like that. Yeah, I think with me it's crazy on Lailin. Yeah. It's, I'm trying to manage it and just communicate with her. But let me tell you, she'll even ask me to set a timer. But and I'll, also, that thing was very important for me. What a Cairo's therapist said about spending time with Cairo in her in world. In her world. That's been a big thing for me. It's a life change, yeah. changing but statement. You've put in a lot. I, I think you've spent, you've been spending a lot of time with him now. She's been demanding a lot of time, especially mm. like, um, even with Sainty. Oh my gosh. Mm. Let me tell you, don't have more than one kid if you're not ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'd always try and find ways to spend time with Cairo in my world, take it to work, do things that I was doing, but that changed the whole thing for me. And when I asked Cairo, what do you want me, mommy to do? Oh, daddy at some point was learning how to skate, so you should also learn how to skate. I thought, okay, scary, but I'll do it. Went, found a coach, and he taught me, Jacques teaches me. And I won't lie, I sometimes have the fear of, of dying and leaving Cairo with no parent. You know, that thing has been haunting me a little bit, I won't lie. Because, I mean, I didn't choose to have you know, to, to be alone, not that I'm alone on this day, but like, I didn't choose for the father of my child to, to die. Yeah. I think she so has the I'm same like, fears oh, though. What if I die and then my child's just like, oh my God. Mm. But I won't die, it's fine. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is actually, you know, I think she, she probably has that same, remember mm. we spoke to, the, mm. to oh. Carmen. The therapist said she has the fear also. Yeah, right? because I think for her, it's just that daddy went to work, for instance, and never came, and back. Never came back. So. As much as she doesn't show it openly all the time, underlying, it's even Zama, I suppose it's Zama or you. Somebody said that even when Bongani wanted to leave, mm. she is even with him. Yeah, she wants to know when you're going to come yeah, back. What time, mm. how long. And when we left to go hiking, mm. she asked me, how many hours are you going to be? Mm. You know, so she does have that fear of it's almost a separation. It's not overwhelming, but it's definitely a different thing. I wasn't always like that. Yeah, I think with me, it's crazy on Lailin. Yeah. It's, I'm trying to manage it and just communicate with her. But let me tell you, she'll even ask me to set a timer. Mm. Like we set a timer. I, if you say you're going to mm. be back. I was traveling from, uh, they, they they drove from Nelsburg and then I flew in and I landed at six. And I said she had to be here at seven. At quarter to seven, she called me seven times. Mm -hmm. I was on a call with Google. Because mm -hmm. now she's like, it's almost seven. It's she's almost seven. Yeah. yeah. So I just need to also sit to your therapist to see what it is that we can help do. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever what we can yeah. do to just help her. Kyra was saying, no, mommy, you need to mm -hmm. come to the school and be a class mom. <laughs> so now that's where I draw the line. So th that one was like, I was like, Okay, no. I, I don't see that. <laughs> and then she's like, okay, at least be friends with the moms at school. And just and I said, Kyra, come on, you need to accept me for who I am. And then I told Bongani, Bongani said, no, man, you're too young for, like, being a class mom and How hanging out with school How does he think mom. the moms? I said, babe, let me tell All you, the moms I'm the older than most of the moms at the exactly. school. Like, I'm actually older than most no, of the moms. No, but being a class mom. I will even say, Z, let us stick to the skating and the doing other things. Do you know, a class mom is a full-time job. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm. And you have to be busy. And you can't be having your PA do those things. <laughs> you have to be there with a the donut. I need to find a, a, a thing, a school thing for that I do with Hashem. No, but go child. to do, you know what? Remember, Kenan used to go and do the hot dog days and stuff. Mm, mm. So those things are quick. You go once. Maybe every three, not even you, put your name up and just tell them you want to come once. Well, do you make hot dogs? You serve the children. Kenan loved it. No, and Caro loved it. So you just go there, you serve the hot dogs, and then you leave, and it's done, and it's once. Didn't Bongani go? Oh, no, then he had to travel. Mm, Bongani was gonna, see, Bongani is perfect for Caro's active life. But the kids love those kind of things. So that is not being a class mom. That is just sin, saying like, let me quickly get up early this one morning on a Friday. Serve the hot dogs. But Kenan got into it, eh? You need yeah. to... <laughs> Kenan was imagine. Like, you know. I can imagine. Kenan was in his element. He loved yeah. it. <clears throat> he loved the attention.